Hey subscribers and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is another one of those uh, monthly videos where I'm just going to recap on things that I'm planning and things that I've received and things that I've done for the month of July 2020. Yes, it's the year of the plague. Um, for those that can see, I have painted my door. It is painted to look like the Doctor Who's Tartus. Um, for those that don't know, that is a British sci fantasy uh, series that's been running since the year 1963 and it's still running. Um, but yeah, so I always had this door that I've uh, always tried to cut out of my videos, not to show it because it was an ugly door, it wasn't painted or anything. So I thought, what would I do about it? And I decided to paint it. Um, I guess uh, for those interested, I will be showing some clips over here right now of how I've gone to prepare the door and paint it to get it to the state that it is in now. Um, so yeah, uh, that was fun. I Let me know what you think about it. I think it came out pretty cool. Um, signs and all. Alright, so uh, as I say, we're in July and um, I've actually got two packages that I have received because these two projects that I am planning on. Shall we uh, pull them close and have a look? Okay, and our first package is from um, Gigi's Perfect 3D Printing. Now this is a friend of mine, his name is Craig Griffin. Um, I actually made contact with him for the first time, I think it was last year, when he entered one of my competitions and he won a Nerf Blaster. And since then, we've become quite good friends. So he sent me a little bit of a package here. So let's see what's inside. For those that's interested, he started a bit of a 3D printing business. Um, links will be below in the description for those interested. It is in the Cape Town area, specifically around about Musenberg. So um, if you're looking for anybody in South Africa, Cape Town area specifically, um, that want, uh, can do 3D printing for your nerve blasters, he's the guy to speak to. But let's have a look what I've got here. Okay, so first out of the box is a stand. Um, need a blaster, need a blaster. Yes, a strife. And you can see it's a, it fits, it's a basically a stand for my magazines. From now on, I can basically show the, the blasters um, like this while showing the work that I've been doing to them. Um, so this is cool. Thank you very much, Craig. I really appreciate this uh, stand. Um, this is cool. Nice to have guys. If you are interested in that, contact him. Um, okay, so uh, it's a bit of a site for the Strife as well. Um, obviously, I need to make it fit there, so I'm not going to press it in now. And there's a bit of a grip for the front of this Strife. Uh, so it goes in something like that over there all right but i'm not going to get into that now thank you very much let's check what else is here um okay. more goodies um looks like he sent me some uh, mosfets and uh diodes by the looks of it um i actually did speak to him about this um i've got i've got a plan you guys might have noticed noticed in the i've got this infinite sitting here on the side it's stock standard and um, it's been sitting there because i've got a plan for it and uh, yes these mosfets and diodes will come in handy for that project thank you very much craig um let's see and what else do you send me Okay, so here we've got some cage, we've got a cage and with various sets of uh, flywheels by the looks of it. Pink. Um, not sure if Craig is trying to tell me something, that um, I must make a pink blaster by the looks of it. Um, yeah, it's the hidden message in this. Hmm. Okay, um, then he also sent me this little thing. Uh, I need a CD. Who still has a CD in these age? 
Um, this is a target uh, practice thingy. Um, basically, you put this flat down like this, and you put your CD inside it. Let's just lift it. You put your CD in here, fitting into this little groove, and then you can use it for target practice. Um, then he also sent me this. This is a little bit of a bracket that you can fit against the wall, something like that. And then you can let's get a blaster again. Then you can take your blaster and you can wall mount it by it will slide into these uh, rails. I'm putting it in right. Let's just check. Yeah, like that. And then your blaster can hang like that on on the side of the wall. Pretty cool. Thank you very much for that as well, Craig. All right. So yeah, um, I'll obviously be using these cages and wheels in future projects. Thank you very, very much. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Okay, next. Oh, I've got a parcel here. Let's just move this out of the way as well. This parcel is... Uh, from DIY Electronics, and uh, let's see what that they sent me. Um, just so it's clear, I ordered this. Um, I just can't remember. Okay. Um, so it seems lots of cool electronic things. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Now I remember. So this is a small little step down transformer, um, and I open one. Open one. There you go. So this is a tiny little uh, 3D, uh, 3D, a step down transformer um, that allows you to step the voltage down to what, but I can't remember, remember the ranges now, but this is specifically for the Infinite project because I'm going to fit a LiPo in there and part of the circuitry of the Infinite is very tricky. Um, and it only wants to work with six volts and that is the loader mechanism so but we obviously want to run higher voltage for the motors and this is where this will come in all right cool this is uh yeah this is going to be very very cool and a spare one just for in case accidents happen uh, then some micro switches you know the buttons that is used within the strife uh let's just get this guy out of here Ooh. You can see it over there. Uh, cool, my, my little micro switch. It's just got a little clicky clicky thingy on the side. Um, that's for running a bit of higher voltages um, in Strife or any type of electronic blaster type mod. Okay, uh, then I've, yes, I ordered these. I must be honest, I did not expect them to be uh, this tiny. These are um, on off switches. So the idea that I had there was to be able to leave a LiPo in a blaster and just have an have on off switch on the side to turn um, the power on and off. But uh, this is too tiny, I'm not sure if this will even handle the voltage. Um, what else is here? Oh, oh yes. yes, 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 yes. I forgot about these. Uh, oh, wait, is here yeah, open one already? I'm not even sure how to pronounce this, but this is a pin potentiometer okay so basically what it is um anybody that can remember the old school radios that had those knobs that you would turn to up the volumes or reduce the volume this is basically it um you can see there so my idea with this is okay so you can see that it comes with a, uh, a cap let me just see if i can open this I need a knife <laughs> Okay, so you can see here is the um, potential meter, as I hope I pronounce it right, and the little knob um, that goes on the outside, and you can basically turn it uh, for higher or less resistance on the line that is connected in. So, why did I order this? Um, the problem of all our high end blasters, things that run with 3S LiPo and so forth, is that um, you can't really take that into a into a war with little kids because you're going to injure them. 
So why, why I've got this is so that I can reduce the amount of current going towards the motors. So therefore, by reduce the speed at which the darts will be fired. Basically nerfing the nerf gun. Um, so yeah, I've got uh, two or three of these. Um, so they will be, they'll be going into my infinite. Let me get the infinite to show you. Okay, so this is the infinite that's been hanging there on my wall. You can see it's rather large. I like the Delta Trooper um, barrel that I've attached to it. Gives it a good look, nice big blaster. Um, so my idea is to attach these uh, potentiometers to the side over here, so that I can basically adjust how much power will be going to the motors. I do have a set of spare motors over there. Um, that will be going into this blaster and then obviously the 3S LiPo into the stock and um, somewhere in here or there I will fit the step down transformer this is going to be a very very cool project guys um, I'm not planning to paint this blaster at all I'm just going to mod it and leave it in stock colors because I actually like the look that it's got okay let's back this away quickly let's see what else do I have in here is there anything else I have not opened yet? Uh, okay, just two more. Oh, I'm not even sure what this is called, but I've got two of them. Let's just have a look. Oh, it's two more MOSFETs. Okay, so it's two more MOSFETs. Uh, cool. All right. And basically now you've seen all the goodies that I've got in the month of July. I'm not sure what bolts I will show in the month of July on this channel. I'm not sure I'll be going to have anything ready. Um, but at least you can see what I'm working on. And you'll probably get to see it towards the end of July or beginning of August. Any case, guys, if you want to see anything, drop me a line, drop me a comment, let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see more of, and um, yeah, please subscribe and like my videos. Cheers, man. Cheers. Mm.